Self-directed learning involves five steps. Set goals, create a plan, monitor learning, seek help when needed, and reflect on process. Step one is setting goals. A student might set two types of goals, short-term goals and long-term goals. Short-term goals can be accomplished in the near future, such as doing well on an upcoming quiz. Short-term goals are often easy to plan for because people have a clear idea about how to accomplish them. Long-term goals take more time to accomplish, like getting into college or getting an A in your on-ramps course. Long-term goals can be difficult to plan for because there might be a lot of steps needed to accomplish them. However, setting short-term goals can help an individual get closer to achieving their long-term goals. For example, students whose long-term goal is to attend college might set several short-term goals for themselves, such as passing all of their exams and getting involved in extracurricular activities a couple of hours every week. Step two is to create a plan for accomplishing the goal. Things to consider when generating a plan are timing, when will I study and how long will I study for, material, what do I need to learn, and using effective learning strategies, how will I study. Step three is to monitor your learning. Monitoring your learning is about checking your knowledge. What do and don't you understand? Self-monitoring is an important skill for assessing your progress towards your goal as you study. You can monitor your learning by asking yourself questions like, what do I understand? Can I answer practice problems without referring to my notes? Can I explain the concept to someone else? Can someone else understand what I'm trying to communicate in my writing? Is there anything that is confusing or unclear? The responses for the previous questions lead to step four, seek help when needed. If you do not understand the material after trying to learn it on your own, it is best to seek help from a friend, a tutor, or a teacher. Finally, step five is to reflect on the learning process. After everything is done, consider whether you accomplished your goal and look back on the plan you created and carried out. Asking yourself questions like the following can help you identify the strengths and weaknesses of your approach in order to improve for next time. Did you accomplish your goal? Was your plan effective in helping to accomplish the goal? What elements of your plan would you keep or change for the next time that you have a similar goal? Remember, you can use reflection for any learning experiences, whether it be an exam, completing a lab report, driving for the first time, or anything else.